air is spoiled the water is spoiled the chemical industry in india is the number one bulk provider to the pharma industry in the western world here they produce and ship off tons of chemicals that are essential ingredients in the medicine produced in the US and Europe. But there are a number of challenges associated with production affecting people and the environment. ESG analysts from Nordea have traveled to India to visit a number of suppliers to the pharmaceutical industry. These pharma companies are part of investments in a number of portfolios in Nordea. Field visits are an integrated part of the analysis done by us at Nordea. It is important because Nordea is able to assess the situation on site and not just by looking at a report from behind a desk. And it gives the analysts an opportunity to look for solutions. During this visit, the analysts are out to visit the different local stakeholders involved in production, as well as those affected by its consequences. The main target is to get companies engaged in solutions needed to change the situation on the ground. Together with the Indian analysis company Solaron, the ESG analysts are planning the journey around Hyderabad in southern India and in Visakhapatnam by the Bay of Bengal. There are a lot of streams they use for their agriculture, which is completely polluted. A dried out lake close to the chemical industries is the first stop. The farmers in the area used to bring their cattle here. But now, the area is extremely polluted by chemicals that would make the cattle sick. Close by the lake and the farmers lies a large complex of chemical industries, one of the subcontractors to the large global pharma companies. They don't have any permission to dis uh, dispose any of the high TDS. Nil, nil. And they also claim that they are not disposing anything. The ESG analysts continue to another industrial complex. It is easy to see the pollution on the water surface. The stench weighs heavily in the air. It is clear that the industry needs to address this issue, as the water is already an issue in India. If they do not begin to recycle or cleaning of the waterways, they will create long-term problems. A number of meetings have been arranged with the local population affected by the pollution. One of them is Dr. Kishan Rao, who has had an ongoing trial with state authorities for the last 15 years against the pharma companies regarding severe environmental pollution. His problem is that the court system has postponed his case under influence of the industry. So this is directly happening under the nose of the industry, under the nose of the governmental agencies. I say, if I am not wrong, there is nothing but a corporate terrorism. It is the industry which is managing with all the uh, authorities, rather. Mm. The analysts also meet with the local authorities, the Pollution Control Board. It is the authority who controls the effluence from the chemical companies. We are not allowed to film the meeting. It is clear that they do not have the possibility to control the companies who don't comply with the regulations. The analysts came to look for solutions to the water issues. They meet a farmer who also has problems with polluted water from the factories. The interpreter explains what the farmer sees as a solution. Instead of having one common effluent treatment plant, every factory should have their own. Individually, each, each of the uh, plants, they have to have their own purification. They journey on to Visakhapatnam, where the Oro Bindo factory is located. This is only 10 kilometers from the sea. 
they head to the beach, where water from the factory runs into the ocean. Yeah, the pipelines are right there. Local fishermen tell them about the problems they encounter. The ESG team returns to Sweden. Nordea is an investor in many of the global pharmaceutical companies and they met with them and their organization, PSCI, to address what they had witnessed in India. After the meetings, PSCI and almost 30 companies put together an action plan to secure better conditions for the local populations. This shows the possibilities investors have to create a better world without compromising returns through active ownership. This is what we and our customers want.